Welcome back to the channel. Four of us gathered for some low-stress BVR training using the simulator mode and CADMs. It was 2v2 with us and aggressors using PL-12s and the other team in F-16s using AIM-120s. I'm gonna let you in a little secret. My wingman was not using a HOTAS. They had a keyboard and mouse like a boss. Let's see how he did, shall we? Alright, uh, Falcon, ready. Copy, fight's on. I got something there. Oh, I got the, uh, I got the right side. I'll get the right one, you get the left one. Got the high guy, he's at, uh, 35,000. Box 3, bullseye 24144, 35,000, high guy. Defensive, off cold. 2, Fox 3. Then come off cold, uh, left or right, whichever one doesn't matter. I'll support you. Just let me know when you when you fire and go ahead and defend to the left. So make sure you turn left. Falcon 4 2 alive. 2 engaged defensive. Box 3 that guy. Box. Good way, you one long beep or just beep beep beep? Uh, it's a one long beep. Okay. Yeah, that beep 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 is the is the missile at you, so you defend that thing. Alright, one's coming back around. I'm, I'm naked. Turn it back hot. Alright, got one again. Targeted 19,000. Wow, the missile is still after me. Fox 3, 2, 6, 9, 34, 21,000. Off cold. We go ahead and turn turn hot, so turn south. I think I found one. Yeah, I, I'm gonna link it. I got one. Is at 22 right now? All right, two there. Okay. There's two of them. So that's one of them. Uh, get the other guys to the left of them. See him yet? Negative. To the left, 20, 23,000. It's uh, this one, right? Okay. Yeah, you're going up the left, I'm going to go up the right one. Box 3, 2, 5, 1, 32, right guy. One's... Two, Fox 3, long. One's defensive. Cat, flare. Uh, what's bingo? Uh, we can do 3 5. Dark end 4 1 dead. Bullseye 2 4 7 30, uh, 36. 2 recommitting. Happy 1 still defensive. Package knock it off, knock it off. Defend your missiles, we'll reset here. Uh, let's do a fuel a fuel check. Copy. We can probably do one more and then we'll, uh, we'll head back. Dark end's ready in the south. Copy. Fight's on. Yep, two go and go south, and then start looking, and uh, we'll sort azimuth, so if the guy's on the left, you'll, t you'll take him, and if he's on the right, I'll take him, we'll just sort like that. Awesome, hits at, uh, oh, it's jammers, two, two, three, thirty-six. There's two of them there. This, uh, can I use jammers? Yeah, you can use them, yep, so get that right guy at 31,000, I'll get the left, I'll get the, get the, you get the left one, and I'll get the right one. Yep, cool. Good sort. Uh, targeted. Left targeted. Two box three long. Two defensive. Box three, and I'm out. Defensive. Chat, flare. Do chaff and flares actually do something? Uh, it's pretty negligible with these Fox 3s, it, it really doesn't matter. Alright, one is clean, one's turning back. Or one is naked, turning back in. Seems like they all went after you. Yeah, there's still a missile coming right at me. Yeah, I got nothing at me. Uh, back hot. Walking forward to dead. Dead. We 
got one of them. I see him turning back cold. I got the other guy. Box three, two, two, four, twenty three, defensive. Boot clean, re engaging. Altitude. One's defensive. I'm glad I actually got the guy. Yeah, nice. Box four, two, alive. Alright, I think I defeated this thing. I'm, I'm still defensive though, but I'm beaming. Uh, look past me, you should be last known altitude was 20,000. Well, that actually got me, I've looked attack view. Mustang, 3-1, dead. There's uh, someone at Angel 10, does that mean they're out? Uh, possibly, um, maybe. Mustang, 3-1, alive. Alright, got your data. I'm gonna see if I can find him. I'm, I'm turning back uh, hot. He's right behind my my McTix. Alright, I'm turning back around now. I got one guy. He's cold now. Alright, talking 4 1 dead. I got another one. Nice. Talking 4 1, field day 2.3. Copy, uh, knock it off. Knock it off. We'll head home and look at the tack view. Copy that. We might have been. Oh no, it could have been should have been a difference separation wise. Uh was was my number two jamming? Do you oh, remember? I, I locked on. Huh? Uh was my number two jamming? Like I I think I was jamming, pretty sure. I think yeah, I, I, I was, think I, he, was. I think he I think he was jamming. I, I play was. It. Yeah, I yeah, I fired at him. That's what I said. Yeah, this I was just testing to see if it still works. It doesn't it doesn't work. It's a little different. Plus, their their 120s, not PL12s or 80 or uh, AA12s. Wait, sorry, I turned out. Uh, oh, this killed you. Yeah, that killed me. I wasn't defending as much. I was just testing to see uh, the the 120s capabilities basically on on the other side. Is but, this the first engagement? Yes, yeah, the first one trying to get my timing down because they changed the, the sounds and stuff. See how fast this is going. Six. Almost there. Could have made another turn. Might have might have defeated it. And plus the home on jam stuff. So when you're when you're cold, make sure you turn off your jammer. Let's see here. So you already have two missiles. They're about halfway there. Daniel has one. It's about half the, halfway there as well. And you're already out. Potato's about halfway through his out maneuver there. So, uh, training here. So, so Daniel, um, let's let's see. Um, so, who has the advantage here? Uh, you, you, uh, you or Potato, Daniel? Uh, potato because of the speed. Yeah, and the altitude. And altitude. Yep. So you could, I remember I was trying to get at least a .9 on um, the speed just to give your PL-12 a, a chance to hit. Yeah. So this is just something that, that the Red 4 does, the, even the, the AI 27s and and uh, 33s, they do the same thing. They try to get high and fast, like 31,000 Mach 1.3 or something, to kind of put it on the same, same level, playing field as the 120s, and it actually works. But good... um. Good defense there, because you you didn't wait until the missile hit or something. Some people do no, that. No, my my strategy is just like yeah, I shoot it out and I immediately turn away. Exactly. I know they're gonna shoot back. And and were you tracking the, the distance here? Were you paying attention to that? Yeah. Yeah. So if you're like really close, which 20 miles is close when someone's uh 20 000, or 10,000 feet above you. To at least like medium distance away or something, but. Yeah. You launch, I launch, both launch. I get a missile warning really early now. 15 miles. So I get the... Was that, was that missile warning on the RWR, like a BGM? It was a... I think I might have snipped. It was like... So there's two different now. There's the 
basically the MPRF and the HPRF. The HPRF is the slower one. The MPRF is the faster beep. So that's when it's basically spiking you. But now they separated the two sounds. Yeah, I noticed that. So I was getting the, the uh, I guess, nails missile. I was getting uh, nails of the missile here, and then I was out, and then about here I get a uh, spike missile, and it gives me the, the higher frequency uh, speed. That's when it went bullseye. Yeah, that's when it went uh, pit bull, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that. Which, which it might not even, because I'm I pretty sure I had it this entire time. So it's in HPR, NPRF, but it doesn't particularly mean it's on you. That's what I'm getting out of this. I'll, I'll look at the data, make sure that I'm in that mode, but that's what it seems like. So I'm trying to look for, so I see him at, uh, I'm locked onto this to Ong Dong, and then I notice that you're locked on to, to Potato, because you send me data from him. So I'm like, no, there's another one. So I tried to get you to lock this guy, which which happened, and then we yeah. switched targets and, and we were good. Let's see. Yeah. yeah, I think we were. I think we were saying the same thing. Like I saw a dude, and then. Oh cool. yeah, we both did the exact same thing. Look at that. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I told him sort eastern. Yeah. And and our our separation here makes it a, a like it, it's like a double edged sword. It could make us easier to easier to uh, to track and target, but we could technically both. Uh, defend in the opposite direction and now we're even more spread out so we can at that point we could probably attack from two different sides if they're still together yeah. which makes it hard to attack two people at the same time okay. how far was that i think this is when i died yeah i uh, my, i don't think i ran cold ops long enough so but but i have noticed that though. Yeah, you did. You did. Oh yeah, the altitude. Yep. And speed. Oh, never mind. Yeah, speed is is it might it I don't know six thousand feet point nine Mach. Does that kind of even out? I don't know, but uh, I've noticed that you get the the nails M almost immediately because if I didn't get the M, I wouldn't have turned out like that. So I I, I get the the nails M pretty much immediately at twenty something miles. To look at the tape. I might have had the the spike though, because I knew it was pretty soon. Where? Yeah. I'm trying to see it. Mine didn't track. Right, so I fired my missile. And yeah. Track for some reason. So on yeah. Dong, like a super important thing in air to air combat, like BVR is getting like high speed. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, here it was fine, slow. kind of, but at one point you did get super slow. But we'll see in a couple of minutes. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, neither oh. neither tracked. Did you get hit? Oh no. No. It detonated in the ocean. I think I might have called knock it off and reset. Yeah. Yeah. Ong Dong was oh, Ong Dong is point seven, yeah. 27,000 potatoes at 31.5, and we're at 32. Wow, you Daniel, you're getting it. I was only at 0.87. The fox immediately turn out. I think both these went, yeah, one didn't track, the other one went for Daniel, so I turned back. I didn't have anything. Uh, Ong Dong got hit on that. We'll, we'll go after it. We'll do it later. Oh my god. Yeah. You, know, you defeated that. How far away was that? A half a mile. And increasing. Wow. So you, you beat it. Yep, just going straight. I have to think if I was just a yeah. little bit faster. Exactly. <laughs> Or even the same, same out, same uh same parameters. In a different mission yeah, if, here, if I was in an eagle, oh boy! Oh man. Yeah, I think this. I, I swear to God, you might have been. It might have. It might have did jamming, and then it turned off. I think you remembered that time. 
Yeah, there was, um, I think two times I had left my jammer on, and both times I died. But one actually is a special case. This one hit me. Yeah, this one surprised me. I was like, oh, okay. Was that my missile? Yeah, that was yours. Yeah, that one hit me. Oh. I didn't expect yeah. that. Let's see. 21. Basically, almost the same, same parameters. Relatively. So you launch. I go off. So I, I was doing it aggressively. I didn't flow cold, really. I was just putting it on the, on the beam. And I, based on my timing from the previous sounds, I started climbing and it, it wasn't wasn't enough. Now Daniel's by himself. Let's see who's yeah. locked on to. I remember this one. This is my biggest blunder. I don't remember. I thought, I thought he was oh. leaned on Ong Dong. I thought he was leaned on him, so I didn't worry. So he was. I think Dan I remember Daniel saying, "There's a guy at ten thousand. Is he dead?" I'm like, maybe. I I don't know, cause yeah, I, I maybe. I can't really. Say, but you were below ten thousand on there. Yeah. I think so, so if we weren't doing um, training with dead and all, no, I, 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 I yeah, I thought, I thought like, yeah, that guy's dead, so I'm gonna go for the other one. I thought you cranked left after you fired. I thought that's what was going on. Oh. So I thought, okay, well, he fired at Ong Dong. Um, no, he I'm gonna, fired at you. Well, no, no, I'm talking about what I was thinking when I was in the pit. So he surely he fired at Ong Dong, who's like 14 miles away. So I'm gonna continue press to try and get him while he's turning cold. But he dropped Ong Dong and went for yeah. Me. Which Ong Dong here? You were at like Mach 0.5 when you shot that missile. If you were like Mach 1.0, you would have killed him. Okay, so speed matters yeah. when you fire a missile. Speed oh is yeah, super important. Is if this... you were Mach 1.0, if you were Mach 1.0, he would be dead like four times over. Oh yeah. 15 miles, like. Yeah, as I said, I was really, really wondering if that guy was dead or not. Oh my god, please hit, please hit, please hit. I swear to god, it if doesn't. Hit. This tracking, though, like, it's really, really close. Like, it's trying. If it just had crazy. a little bit more energy. Uh, yeah. Uh, like you would have had mine. I think I hit, I think I hit. Yeah, you killed me. Oh. Yeah, because there, there's literally a sound barrier. There's like a, a the most friction and uh, resistance is at Mach 1. So if you're already past Mach 1 or close to it, then it doesn't have to get through it. And it could it goes a little farther. Okay. I guess you, you have probably had the dead zone for a no, couple so seconds. I was oh. like, okay, that's probably... So um, I heard like the, the small beep. I wasn't really familiar with what the beeps meant. Yeah. I thought Surprise. if it beeped more, it was like uh, there's more radiation on you or something. Okay. So I assumed like if it was little beep, then it wasn't on you. And if it's big beep, it is on you. So I heard the big beep. I'm like, oh, shit. It's so like I, that's different. Yeah. So I tried to break, but it didn't. That's when I got the big beep. When I turned out, but I was the worst part. Yep. Here we go. For me. But here's, here's boss Daniel trying to land with a keyboard. Uh, it, it worked, but how but fast were you going? Here, here, here's the thing. Your speed was good. You were, you were good. Let's see. This one. Yeah, I don't know what happened, honestly. I just started, like, going the side to side and went crazy on me. Like, started oh. bumping like that. You see that, right? Yeah. I don't know. Then, yeah, that, that right there. Yeah, you land, land was good. Yeah, it started to bump a little bit. Maybe they left some rocks in the fucking runway. Yeah, dang it, maintainers don't tr don't trust maintainers to do a fod walk. <laughs> exactly. Don't trust them. And, and 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 then this part right here, I just I just fling Whoop. up. Yeah, as in vulnerability, get get into it. I think you went over water or something. And it was like bloop. Yeah. Spawned you up there. <laughs> 